everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of Stranded Raft. Today we are going to be starting off by going over to an island that we saw in the last episode. And that I managed to forget about over the course of the episode. Which honestly doesn't surprise me that much. I'm not very surprised that I forgot about it. But it's right off to the side of this island here. This is the first island that we went to. Hello? Oh, my boat was on the land. Okay, I fixed it. There we go. So now we're just going to head over here and head over to the island that is, I think, right back there. It was the one with the acacia on it that I said I was going to go to next in the last episode. So we're going to head over there now. And here we are coming up on this island. I was right, this does have acacia on it. So we're just going to casually crash our boat. That's why I have multiple boats on me at all times. And we've got a skeleton head. Ooh. Well, what's going on here? This is interesting. A journal and some bones. Okay, let's see. Let's read the journal. The fifth. I can't make a fire so that I am forced to eat raw flesh and salted fowls. I cannot live long, and I hope that the Lord will have mercy on my soul. The sixth. Drank my own urine and eat raw flesh. The seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, all as before. He did not have a good time here. That is for sure. Okay, we're going to pick up these things, but I'm going to have a good time with this sugar cane. Let's go. And these mushrooms. Thank you very much. There's a rose bush here, so now we have renewable red dye. I say that in quotation marks because currently we have two bones. There is some iron on this island, which is very nice. It could always use more of that. All right, and with that, I have all of the mushrooms and sugarcane off of this island, which is very nice. It's not that much, but I'll make do. And I know this is kind of like his remains, but but I need them. We got to get everything here. I'm even going to take the skull because these are these are unobtainable without a lightning storm, which I'm pretty sure there are lightning storms, but still. So we're just gonna take our goodies and head back home, unless. I haven't been there. Ooh, okay. Never mind, we're not heading back home. We're going to head to that island because obviously I haven't been there because it still has cactus. And pumpkins. Ooh, pumpkins. Yes. Okay, we're going to head over there. I just reopened the game. And we're out here in the ocean. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, because my... Okay, the game just crashed my entire computer, which I don't know how. And we're glitching. Okay, I think we should be fine. Okay, I think we're good to just, just do this all again. Right, right. We've got pumpkins over here, like I said before. Yes, okay, we're good. That was so weird. Okay, I don't even know how my computer crashed. Okay, this is a single player world. But we gotta hurry before it becomes nighttime because we gotta get home quite quickly so we don't get freezing cold but there are more potatoes here which is very nice we'll be taking those all right i think that's everything from this island i'm now going to just like book it home because i don't want to get really cold that that was not a good time last episode that was not good we're not going to we're not going to have a repeat of that we made it let's go okay we are safe now or Theoretically, we are safe. I haven't even gotten the message that I'm cold yet, which is very nice. All right, we have the pumpkins now, so I think it's time to make a bit of a pumpkin farm. Or maybe just replace some of these melons with pumpkins. Like, let's go two, three, four. There we go. Okay, perfect. We now have a pumpkin farm. So that challenge can be crossed off the list. And we also got sugar cane from that island, so I'm going to go put this down. There we are, and we're going to grab a couple more torches just to light up those crops. There we are, this place is all lit up. Now just time to cross the sugar cane farm off of my list. Alright, so the sugar cane farm is also done, so we can toss that one. And let's see if we can do any of these during the night. Craft a map. A map is paper and... A compass. That's actually that's actually something we can do. 
So if I remember right, a compass is just this, yes, and paper. Well, I'm just going to steal some of it from my farm because I don't really... Wait, hold up. I might actually have some in my house. I do not have any in my house. That's fine. Would it be weird if I used... Nah, nah. I'm going to use the, uh, the challenges to make the challenge, to finish the challenge. So, give me a second. Build a barn near the shelter? No. Hay bales? Find a wet sponge and dry it? No. That one we can, I think, actually do. So we have to craft a fishing rod. We do have enough string. We're going to actually hold off on the map challenge for the moment, just until the sugar crane grows, because I would like to have more sugar cane, and not, like, use all of it but one for this one challenge. So we're going to wait until I get a few more, and then we can do that challenge. We have acquired the fishing rod, and now... We are not going to fish out there. We need a little area where we can fish. Because I'm not going to fish in the... Like, out at night in the cold. Because, like, I don't think that would be a good idea. You know, I think I'm just going to wait for morning to fish out there. But, in the meantime... Can I fish in this thing? Is this even going to work? What is going on with the bobber here? I don't understand what's happening. I don't think that's going to work. Let's, let's just look at the challenges. Whoa, craft an anvil. Okay, that is going to take quite a bit of iron. I think that's, that's 31 iron? Yeah, 31 iron for an anvil. That is a tad bit insane. So I think knowing that, I'm not going to use the iron for armor, because I don't need to for anything. So I think, I think the next thing I'm going to do is actually going not to be to complete any of the challenges it's going to be to go to shipwrecks and loot them because like yeah um i think that would be a good use of the time or good use of daytime at least if i was to loot those things so i know on the way to this island there's one so we're going to go to this one over here first and then we'll travel around and see if we can find other shipwrecks or kind of ruins this one's actually kind of nice because I can stand on the top here. That'll be a pleasant change from the other two shipwrecks that I have looted. Let's see, what do we got in here? I'm going to assume it's the same thing down here. Yep, with just the furnaces and the note blocks. Uh-oh, I don't want to drown, I don't want to drown. There we go, now we can breathe. That's nice. There we go, all of that stuff has been gotten. Okay, and now we gotta go inside. So we're just gonna go this way. What we got in here? Another music disc. I'm thirsty. I can't break this chest in time. I'm gonna drown. Oh, and it's raining now, too. I think the weather in this in this world just loves me. It knows. It's like, oh wait, she's gonna go do something and it's gonna be She's going to go outside and do something? It's like, ah, okay. This is the time it rains. Alright, I'm going to head home. Just to get past the rain. Because I don't want to get much colder than I already am. And I know, to, I know that I'm already cold. So we're just going to go back before we freeze. Okay, so I'm not feeling cold anymore. So even though it's raining, I think I'm going to go out to one more shipwreck. Just so that I can, because I want to. There's one right over there, so we're going to go out to that one now. Even though I already feel cold, I think we're going to be able to be fine if we do this. I think we should be okay, theoretically. Okay, so this has got to be a quick going in and getting out because I'm already cold, so... Oh, wait, no! I'm pretty sure I said that this one had a sea lantern on it, but it's actually an iron block. That is extremely good. Okay, we're going to go in real quick. Oh, sponges, mine. Oh, there's no stuff down here. That is interesting. Okay. Huh. Weird. There are more sponges on this side of the boat. And a chest. I feel seriously cold. Okay, okay. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Okay. That's all. That's all we're getting from here. We have to go home now. I feel seriously cold. I don't even... I'm not even gonna look at what I got from those chests. I'm just gonna go and then I'll check when I get there. 
And now he feels thirsty. Good, good, good. Again, things are going great. I love the heat, the heat mechanic. Like, okay, it's a really cool mechanic, but still. And now I'm very slow as well. I can hear my own heartbeat. I am inside now, though. Okay, I think I'm fine. I no longer have slowness, at least. So there is one positive. Okay, what do we got? We've got another music disc. Wonderful. Only two more to go. Very nice. A block of iron, which is pretty cool. Some more golden nuggets. Some nether wart. Some chests. And some wet sponge, which we are going to actually dry off now. Because that is one of our goals. One of our challenges. Uh, let's see, where is it? Find a wet sponge and dry it. That's the one we are doing right now. And there we go. We have sponges. So that means... Find a wet sponge and dry it is done. Alright, so I've warmed back up fully. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is build a barn. So this barn is going to be kind of like the barn in my Super Flat Survival series where it's just wood. It's kind of like a, not really like a red barn. It's going to be a wood barn. Wait, hold up. Actually? Actually. Okay, so I've changed my mind. I am actually going to do a red barn. But to do a red barn, I'm going to need clay because that is going to actually help me with the craft all the types of stained clay. So I'm going to be making red hardened clay red terracotta so I'm going to head over to one of the islands the island that I was pretty much just at with the acacia on it and I'm going to grab the clay from that island and use that Ooh, I found a chest how did I not see this before what is in here message in a bottle find this bottle finder of this bottle please help I'm stranded in a desert island Oh, so there is stuff out there. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So I do want to be going to all those, those, like, those ones. I think. Yeah, it says desert island, not deserted. I can read, I promise. Right, so I've gathered a bit of clay, and now I'm going to head back home and build this barn. While I'm waiting for the clay to turn into terracotta, I am going to make the compass. I mean a map. That's what I'm doing. I'm crafting a map. I'm not making a compass. I already did that. So I'm pretty sure this is the recipe. I don't really know. I haven't crafted many maps. Yes, it is. Let's go. We have an extra piece of paper and the challenge 12 is done. I'm going to open up the map here too. Very nice. We have a map of our island. Wonderful. So I have run into a tiny bit of a problem. And that is the fact that I have used up all of the red dye that I have. Um, I've kept one red stained clay in the chest. Oh wait, no. Never mind. This is stained clay. Oh, so this is just... Oh, so it's not like the... It's not like glazed terracotta is what they call it in the future. Well, not in the future, but now. Um, it's just this. Okay, that's that's good then. Okay, so I have 40 pieces of red stained clay. So I'm going to use that to make myself up the barn. So it's not going to be a very big barn, so I think I'll put it right here. This will be a good spot for it, I think. So I, it's only going to be five wide, I think. Okay, that is a fairly large barn. It's fine. It'll be fine. I'll just add in a lot of windows. How about that? I'll just add in a ton of windows and a ton of wood supports, and then it'll be mostly red. I mean, it'll be mostly wood, but it'll have, like, red highlights in it. So it'll still be... It'll still be a red barn. Okay, I don't think... So this is not going to be enough red stained clay. I have 19 left, and all I have done is that. Um, so currently... I think I'm going to need definitely some more. So I think I'm going to use the two bones that I have because I don't see any other reason. I don't see any reason to keep the bones. 
Um, I don't need them for anything else that I can think of. I've thought about it and I can't think of anything else that I would need them for. So I'm going to bone meal this red and get some more red dye. Okay, so I still have six red dye left and I've got another stack and one in my inventory. So I think, I think we should be fine. Okay, so I have built the barn successfully. I'm thirsty. And I'm not gonna lie, it turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> So this is the front, and then both the sides are identical with just like the windows in it, and there's the back. Um, it's, it's red. It's more red than I thought it was going to be, and I also have eight red left over, which is very nice. I've got this little chest in here for like eggs and seeds and whatever I need to put in there. And probably the best part is I've got a bit of an upstairs, maybe, if I can go up a ladder. Yes. And it's actually quite spacious up here, so I will definitely be putting stuff in here. Uh, whatever I want to put in there, I don't really know yet. But yeah, so I have chickens in this pen, and I'm going to cut, and I'm going to put bunnies in this pen, and I'm going to replace the floor with oak wood slabs because I've forgotten to do that. Because why would I not? So I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to go mark it off of my list as I've built a barn. All right, so I've replaced the floors, and I decided to leave the little chicken area because. I don't really want to replace that um, with the wooden planks while they're in there, so I'm just going to leave the two pens as grass. And at the point I like made that decision, I had already turned this pen into dirt, into wood. So I am just going to let the grass spread back over to that guy so that we can have a whole area in here. But I think that turned out pretty nice. Now I just have to mark it off of my list. Okay, another challenge is to craft five hay bales and put them into the barn. So I am going to craft two hay bales, because that's all I have room for right now. And I'm going to put them in the top of the barn. And it's raining again. So the top of the barn will be kind of just my little storage area. So I think in this corner would be a good spot to just kind of put the hay bales in a little pile here. Alright, so I think the next challenge I'm going to do is challenge number 25, craft a bookshelf, because I do have enough stuff for that. Um, here we go, there's three books, because I have 11 leather that I've gotten over the course of, like, going through shipwrecks and stuff. So there we go, we now have a bookshelf. So I think that will go probably just in the chest for now, because I don't really have a good place to put it and or a need for it yet. So now that challenge is done potato farm down there now I have decided ooh a pumpkin I have decided that I am going to switch over to baked potatoes for my food source because I can get them a lot easier and even though they don't give as much health even though they don't give as many like food point things as the cooked chicken does I think it's better because I can get them easier it's they're more easily attain obtainable to me than the chickens are and it doesn't take as long for me to get a ton of them. So I think I will be using those as my food source now instead of the cooked seagull. Alright, well that is where I'm going to end off this episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from this series and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!